just about the same reach a uh, little bit of an advantage here to al varke and as you can see lyle is just a baby as far as boxing goes just 21 years old Round one of a four-round welterweight battle between uh, Billy Lyle, who you see in the white trunks, and Miguel Alvarque in the red trunks with the black trim. Billy Lyle was introduced here tonight as William H. Lyle. So, oh, and he lands a pretty good shot here to start things off, but Alvarque all over. Alvarque introducing himself. Alvarque has more power in that right hand. And Lyle had better watch out for it. Lyle likes to start off to the body and work his way to the head. He did a fine job coming out, getting this fight went right straight to the body. There he is downstairs, up, and then upstairs. You know, mixing the attack is so important. In some of these four-round fights, it's difficult to get that going because you're so intent about getting the victory. Four-round fights are sometimes more difficult than the 10 and 12-rounders. Lyle brings an undefeated record into the ring. He's 3-0. Alvarque has also had three fights, but his record one and two. Quick little sneak right by Alvarque. Alvarque right at the, this is the wrong distance. Look at that shot. From Miguel. Miguel, look how big his shoulders are. Broad shoulders in the back. A lot of muscles in his back. Good combination. William H. Lyle. <laughs> Well, he's getting very formal here early in his boxing career. He lands a nice uh, combination again going backwards. I get Both the fight. feeling Lyle would like to go forward, but Alvarque's uh, not letting him. But him in the way. Looks, looks like they both uh, uh, carry some pop in those fists of theirs. Good jab. Look at these hard shots. Yeah, they're hitting hard in the first round. That was a push. Referee is Pete Podgorski. He waved it off right away. A lot of redness around the face, Billy Lyle. There and may I, be a cut, yeah, yes, there around is. The, uh, the right eye. There's an abrasion over there. It's above the right eye, above the corner of the eye. Yeah. An unusual looking cut. Your, your term of abrasion might be more correct. Oh, good left hook. Alvarki ran into that left hook. Great. Both fighters aggressive in this first round, as they should be. Only four-rounder, you, you can't waste time. I have some work to do on that cut between rounds. Over the right eye, and Alvarki is aiming for that. Let's see if he calls that one. No, again, a push. A push. It was a, it was a hook. He kind of missed, and then he caught him with the, with the side of his arm, kind of the forearm. Yeah, he kind of cuffed him. But it does show you the balance that uh, Billy Lyle has. Oh. Yeah, Lyle uh, hits hard. He's got two KOs in his three victories. He is out of Youngstown, Ohio. Ooh. Good right hand, Alvarez, Al Alvarque. And Ma comes back. Coming to the end of round one. We're going to do some work on that cut. Cut again. Outside orbital of that right eye. There it is. Here's a look at uh, some of the action. That first round was a barn burner, man. Both fighters landing some good combinations. Good cross from Lyle. Alvarque comes back. Look at this aggression from Alvarque. Well, yeah, he kept the pressure on throughout the first round. But Lyle landed many crisp punches. Both landed well. Oh, yeah. Just a little slit there. Is that a, is that a dangerous cut? Do you think at all, son? No, every cut's a dangerous cut. If if you when you go out there, you have to, to protect the punch. Hold still. that right hand up higher. Don't allow your opponent to hit it as much. What they're doing is they're putting dragon on it. They've got get it up on that uh, Q-tip there. Swab. Now keep your hands up. Put some. Let's go. All right, we begin round two of this four-round welterweight battle. Billy Lyles is suffering a cut in round one. He's in the white trunks. And Miguel Alvarque in the red trunks. And Alvarque landed some good shots of his own. His best punch is the right cross, but he was landing the left hook. That's why the cut over there on the right side of the face of Lyle. There's a good left hook, Roy Lyle. That was a strong left hook. Nice. And that one is a knockdown. It should be. Five. First time well. Alvarque Six. actually has uh, tasted Seven. the canvas, but the Eight. first time this is an official Eight. knockdown. Ready. He kind of gazes out away Five. from the referee, Pete Podgorski, who pulls off the mandatory eight count and comes back ready to go. 
Good left hook from Lyle. Lyle really strong in his upper body, using his muscle. You know, one interesting thing about Lyle is that he seems, Sean, to be able, even if he's backing up, when he stops to throw his punches, he throws them with good power, even yeah, though very, he's going backward. Yeah, very good, very good power backward and forward for him. Oh, but the thing that I, I dislike, and this is, this is very often the case with young fighters and the four-rounders, every fight is a home run ball. You know, every, I mean, every punch is a home run. Take some of the intensity off some of those punches, and then you bring in the intensity. Almarque snuck a good right hand in there, good right cross, and backed uh, Lyle into the rope. And Lyle now falling into a corner and falling into a clinch. Pressure from Almarque. Keep the head up. Warning for use of the head to both fighters. You're right about Lyle throwing a lot of home run balls. Every shot is KO blow. Now, Barkley, though, has come back well from this since being knocked down. Oh, he's tough. Tough kid. Now, Barkley from right here in Chicago. One and two was one KO. All of his wins, he has won by KO. Now Lyle looking for an opening. When you struggle to, to real throw hard punches, to, to throw real hard punches, it's difficult to make them land. Sometimes you take some of the intensity off, you just get the combinations working, get them fluid, then you bring in the power. There's so much stress too from trying to punch hard, it takes all your energy out of you. Now Varque switches up, goes to a southpaw stance here momentarily. Somebody's lost a mouthpiece. I believe it's Al Varque, who got hit there with an uppercut by Lyle. Referee Podgorski will wait till there's a lull in the action before he stops it. This should be it right here. Fine job. Pete Padgowski, former boxer himself. On the referee ranks. He's been doing this a long time. Timer ready. Alvarque having a pretty good round. He's using a lot of pressure, throwing a lot of punches, and landing well. Barkley well, wound up with that right hand. End of the round. Time. Recently, Castrol Syntec was tested against every leading brand of conventional 5W30 motor oil. It was a punishing comparison under extreme heat and stress beyond anything a car would ever face. Bob. What are the readings on the other car? In the end, under these grueling conditions, Castrol Syntec simply performed better. Castrol Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. Gonna go, Napoleon, your king! No! There's not a moment to lose. Commander, rated PG-13, November 14th, only in theaters. I've got a question about 1-800-COLLECT. Fire away! Why advertise? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> it's 1-800-COLLECT, as in collect calls, right? Correct! Well, even you could remember that. <laughs> Get me coffee. 1-800-COLLECT. It's obvious. Ask me no Wednesday, only in theaters. This is round number three of this four-round welterweight bout. Good one, too, so far. As we see, Billy Lyle undefeated just got hit low there, and uh, Pete Podgorski, I would believe, would give a warning. Now he's actually warning both guys about using their head. 
He's given right, two warnings to the there, fighters, go. Alvarque in the red and Lyle to the white, about uh, about the there, use go, of the head, but he told me between rounds that it was a punch that uh, opened the cut over Billy Lyle's eye. Well, in a fight of this nature, two young Let's fighters, grab, guys, aggressive, now, trying to fight. move That's on the possible. inside. Their heads bang often. They're headbangers. Boom, look at the left hook from both of them. Break, break, break. Step, step. As keep often up, happens, dynamite up. action in a four-rounder. Oh, I like them. Break, easy, easy out, easy out. Good right hand. Two fighters fighting with a lot of intensity. These are welterweights. Lyle, remember, trying to protect an undefeated record at 3-0. Keep the head up. Break. One of the uppercut. Nice job from Lyle. Avarque leaning over at the waist. When you see your opponent leaning over like that, uppercut works well. well a jab would be great for both fighters. Either one of them. Break, break, that jab break. working, especially with the back I talked about of Alvarque. He could utilize that jab, utilize it well. Good long reach from him. Sometimes when Lyle comes in, take a look at it, Sean. When he, when he walks in, he'll, he'll start throwing punches to the body and put his hands real low, leaving himself uh, open. Just remember, when you go to the body, your hands go up. There's a good right cross. William H. Lyle, Youngstown, Ohio. He fights like a fighter that, from Youngstown. He's tough, he's gritty, he gets in there, he's not afraid to... Take a couple punches to get in there and throw his own. A lot of terrific fighters come out of Youngstown, Ohio. Great. Head up. Head up. Fight gets a little sloppy there as Alvarque comes forward and grabs hold of the real. Oh boy, I tell you, Lyle walked right into that right hand. And I tell you, by the final minute of the fourth round in these four round fights you are really Break. struggling you're thinking oh I'm, I'm, I'm maybe behind i must pour it on i must come out i must throw a lot of punches i must show the judges that i want this fight i want this win going through both of their minds right now Break. 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 knockdown in the Get fight the that was alvarque down in round two but he recovered well from that knockdown and may have come on to win that round the second round the third round he, he continued to press the attack Break, break. And here he is in the fourth, and Lyle has been, in this third, landing good combinations, starting off with the body and then working to the head. So we're coming down to the end break. of round three. Might have been a first round that Alvarque takes. Get your breath. Alvarque back to his corner, and so is Lyle. No problem with that cut. No, it has not bled since the second. That's all you're doing, Billy. Don't do nothing. Cut is over the right eye. One punch, two punch. And a pretty good round for both of these guys. Hard to judge these rounds. They're all so very close. In that third, it was Alvarque putting more right, pressure, here, but he's also catching more punches. Look at the gloves of Arvaki up around his face. Good right cross from Billy Lyle. Tough one to score. It has been very close. Blank stare in his face as he looks out into the crowd. Gets that mouthpiece. Here we go. Fourth and final round of a good one. Welterweight bout between uh, two youngsters in there, Billy Lyle and Miguel Alvarque. Lyle three and zero oh as a pro. Alvarque one and two. That's Alvarque in the red trunks. Lyle in the white. One knockdown in the fight. Alvarque down in round two, and Alvarque comes out loaded for bear here in round four. Good right hand from Alvarque, and that stunned Lyle. And nearly hits the referee Pete Podgorski oh, with that last. Right. There'll be none of that. <laughs> that draws a warning. I've got Lyle ahead by two, uh, coming to this final round. Oh, nice oh. left hook by Lyle. Watch your head, watch your head. Watch your head. Lyle playing a bit of possum here. Watch him go into a shell. He waits for Alvarki to get close, and he slaps him with a left hook. And you just sense it. This, this, this fight has certainly built from that first round. This fourth round, they're both thinking about... Uh, Pulling this out. Easy break. And they both know how close it is. Alvarque down in the second. 
And Ray just sliding off the face of Alvarki. Got away from that one. Neither guy particularly strong defensively, but these guys like to throw punches. They want their offense to be their defense. Well, isn't that the, the truth? The best, the best defense is a good offense. Sometimes that's true. Oh, good jab. Look at that. Good, solid jab. Right on your opponent's nose. That's smart. I used to always aim my punches right at my, my opponent's nose, right on the end of his nose. You get hit in the tip of the nose, both your eyes water. Well, you must have been a very precise fighter, Mr. Roper. Well, you'd aim them, but you wouldn't necessarily hit them. <laughs> Good aim. Really hit, nobody knew. <laughs> Okay, final minute for these two. Let's see if one of them can feel this round now. This is a hard fight. It's hard fought. This match is, is, is very difficult. They'll both feel this tomorrow and the next day. Oh, he's a right uppercut by Lyle and a follow-up left by Lyle. And Alvarque walking in very recklessly ran into that shot. And Lyle has some good punches. He could just beat him up and put them together. Every punch we talked about KO shot home run ball every time take some of that steam off and make the punches more fluid now the blood reappears sean but it's, gonna, it's too late to make any difference really but the dripping down the right side of the face of billy lyle hasn't really been a factor during the course of the fight hasn't been a factor and he hasn't been worried about it either he's a tough kid little blood never hurt anybody break break especially when it's your opponent <laughs> Nice left hook to conclude the activities by Lyle, and we'll wait for the decision. And we'll have that decision for you and wrap up the evening's activities when we return to Chicago on the Sunday Night Fight. It's the home of beer, football, cheese, and now all new comedy. This fall, Wisconsin is where the laugh lives. You're allergic to eggs. Hey, pretty lady. Like what you see? That 70s show and a minute with Stan Hooper. Look, it's your head made out of cheese. Holy Lord. Whatever you do, come for the laugh. Stay for the cheese. Damn it, Hooper, you're shredding us like mozzarella. It all begins this week on Fox. 36,864. That is the number of ways there are to dress a Whataburger. And we serve each one fresh, hot, and on a big toasted bun. So take heart, Mr. Three Slices of Cheese, no tomatoes, extra bacon, and grilled jalapenos. We got you covered. What a burger. Just like you like it. for Texas for 35 years. Get your free break check today. Gotta be the jersey. Coleman, the best, stay in the game. Jefferson Parish is stuck in gridlock. It's time to coordinate the road project. We need to make sure that the programs are put together to where we're not fixing every main intersection at the same time, to make sure that we do road construction at night. When you can't get to work, and you can't pick up your kids, and you're stuck in traffic for hours at a time, that's not progress. That's regress. I'd prepare them for a councilman to coordinate road projects. I come fully prepared to provide the leadership that the people of Jefferson Parish expect from their councilmen and demand from their councilmen. Jackie Joyner Kersey helped redefine the image of women in sports, but her name was dragged into ugly scandals and her family was struck by tragedy. 
Jackie Joyner Kersey, Beyond the Glory, tonight at 9 p.m. right here on Fox Sports Net. And we welcome you back to Chicago, Illinois. You just watched a couple of youngsters give it up for four rounds. Let's go up to Amy Hayes and find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, we go now to the scorecard for the decision as seen by our judges. Judge Noel Schiff scores it 39-36. Phil Siegel scores it 40-35. And finally, John Lira scores it 40-35. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, William Lyle.